Hey guys, welcome back to Psychic Celluloid Signals. We are back for a second day to the dry den. And what are we here to see, man? David Lynch, The Art Life. Yes, and we're very excited. Um, it's a very new film, right? Yes. And uh, so we're excited to see that, uh, especially right after seeing Eraserhead. Which was um, amazing. Yes. So hopefully that'll kind of um, give us even more like insight on the film, which is a very bizarre film, as you guys probably are aware, uh, if not from seeing it, just by reputation. But uh, anyways... I will stop rambling for now, and we're going to go check out the movie. Hey guys, welcome back. We just got done seeing David Lynch, The Art Life, and I thought it was great. What would you think? I was blown away. I I wish it was longer, honestly. I was actually yeah. very disappointed when it ended. I was expecting it to go on, to continue. Mm -hmm. And when this credit started to roll, I was just... Yeah, I, I loved it was, um, uh, like, narrated by him, the whole yeah. thing. And his narration is just so excellent. Yes. Um, just his, like, measured uh, kind of which, speaking. And, which it, it personifies, I feel like, a lot of his films. Yeah. And he's got kind of, like, an almost more monotone voice, but not in, like, a bad way. Mm -hmm. Not in, like that annoying professor you had in high school <laughs> way um more in like uh i don't know just uh interesting uh, it's almost uh, like he's like your grandfather yeah like yeah he has it, a very grandfather like <laughs> yes yes um and it was cool to see the inside of his his studio yeah um and where and he see lives him working and... yeah and see him working and see all his different um his his artwork, his mm. paintings, his sculptures, his mixed media, um, and kind of get uh, well, kind of you do you get a glimpse into his not only his life but some of the the inspiration behind his work and how things kind of how he came to be where he is now. And kind of like the way that he thinks and yeah, like. Uh, perceives the world around him. It's very distinct. Yeah, it's very uh, abnormal as well, but yes. not in a bad way. No, <laughs> um, no. But, uh, like, he does explain several times that, uh, especially, like, in the beginning, um, it probably was perceived by a lot of other people <laughs> in a bad way. Um, or creepy way. <laughs> um, but he's actually, uh, like, when you hear him talk about things, he's a lot less creepy than... He's almost... You might think. He's almost... He's very innocent in a weird way. Yeah. You'd expect him, like, he's done... Yeah, obviously did crazy stuff, but crazy is relative. You would think this guy, like, you've been just how he smokes marijuana, has <laughs> plied that he's done it more than once, and that he's done, you know, some weird... You know crazy things and stuff but overall you get this idea that he, he's kind of a homebody and mm -hmm. he's he's dedicated to his work and he's you know he, he lives kind of a quiet existence and he prefers that oh yeah um which is neat um, yeah i, I yeah. thought it was awesome yeah i think it's definitely it's worth checking out um if you want to know anything about like uh what kind of led to the man we know as David Lynch. Lynch. So I'd say with that, that's that's our uh, our take on yeah, this. Definitely. Um, Thank you to the Dryden yes. and uh, the Eastman Museum for allowing us to see this wonderful film. The print was gorgeous, and uh, we're so lucky to have this treasure mm -hmm. uh, in Rochester. And the film community is... is just lucky and as a whole uh yeah it was it was a great screening absolutely um i think that yeah that about sums it up yep so, so um keep it psychic and keep it real <laughs>